My mount literally has an arrow stuck up his. <laughs> Gorilla, you've spent five years making this game and you couldn't come up with different food designs. I mean, look at this. This menu literally has the same picture for every food item. Damn, Hades. How the mighty have fallen. You were supposed to be that guy. Now Silas just went and made you his. I'm trying to help you here. Yeah, well, you could have helped by not stealing Hades in the first place, you idiot. Yeah, that's right. Whoever's behind that door can't enter it except for me because of the gene lock thing. Genetic profile confirmed. Oh, let me shut up. Who the heck are these people? Wow, she has a very familiar face. I wonder who she looks like. Professor Xavier, is that you? Look, dude, I don't care how cool your entrance is or all the bling you got around your neck, okay? You pick a fight with me, it only ends one way. Well, now we have a problem. I am a normal human being with a flipping bow and arrow, and I have to fight this futuristic nanotech, whatever you want to call it, and win. Do you realize how ridiculous that sounds? To put this into perspective for you, it's like a calculator going up against a supercomputer. In this instance, we're the calculator. Things are looking bad. I have no berries and health potions to help me heal. Wait, can I craft it? Leave me alone! Yes, a crate. Please tell me it has a health potion. It doesn't. What about this one? Give me a flipping health potion! I'm dying! Yeah, get wrecked, man. I love swimming and all, but it would be nice if this game told me where am I supposed to go? I can't lie, I've been stuck at this part for like 15 minutes now. Oh wait, progress. Oh shoot! Bro, I come in peace! Dude, wherever I go, I see- I swear, if I die right now, I'm gonna lose it. Oh man. This is why you should never go swimming in rivers. So, wait. It's not, uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. Oh. Um... No comment. I've always wondered how these people sleep on the floor like that. Like, is that not uncomfortable? Like, you got no pillow and no mattress. Like, this mission is gonna go terribly wrong as I forgot to stock up at my stash. <laughs> Nah, I'm done, dude. I, I need to revisit my stash. A few moments later. We got kangaroo type machines in this game? What do they call you? Leap Lasher. Okay. The thing I don't like about cauldrons is all the puzzles you have to do. have any idea how much work it took to construct that simple bridge for you. That machine was definitely inspired by a dinosaur. A dinosaur with a flamethrower apparently. Flipping die. Alright, now I gotta deal with the rest of- ARE YOU- How can I kill the main boss of the mission and get wiped out by its lackeys? If that doesn't spell out I suck, I don't know what will. Yo, we have a base now! Our own little clubhouse. We discovered a lot of things in this episode. We have a base now, Varl has a girlfriend, I have a clone sister, whatever you want to call her, and last but certainly not least, the most important discovery of all, Professor Charles Xavier is in this game. Yes sir. <laughs>